So I spend a ton of my day in my studio. It's a lot of fun. I play video games in the studio as well, you know, in my free time. But I'm in the studio for a good 8 to 10 hours a day uh, putting in work for you guys. And one of the most important things that matters when I'm in a place like this is to have a good chair. Because the thing is, I have to use the chair every single day of my life for work and play and it can have a significant impact on my health especially once i get out of the studio to go you know do things with the kids like play catch outside or tag even back pain and stiffness are problems that all of us often encounter Today we're looking at the Autoful M6 Pro Gaming Chair, part of a three-chair lineup from today's sponsor, Autoful. This pro version offers ventilated and heated seating, the first time I've ever seen this in any office or gaming chair, 6D mechanical armrest, also a first, and a really interesting dynamic tracking lumbar support. They do tout a ventilated fake leather, which is supposed to lower the temperature a few degrees, but it's not something I can measure, and they certainly aren't the only chairs out there to offer ventilation, especially when you compare it to the more mesh-like designs. Sure, when Ewan stepped up with a pair of these white chairs, part of their cheaper line of chairs, it was certainly a huge step up over some $20 Walmart specials. Um, <laughs> geez. Get that thing out of here, Eric. Uh, and they came... Well, it's out of here. Uh, and that came at a time we needed them for an event we were running. However, despite being better than the cheapest stuff at your local office store, over time use presented a few unfortunate comfort issues. One was the lumbar pillow was practically useless. So useless, we detached them and never looked back. This meant you just had a hard, flat back. Now, in contrast... The Autoful M6 gaming chair has vastly superior lumbar support that is completely adjustable. If you twist the knob on the side, the support will go up and down the lumbar section of the chair. And then a lever on the side lets you bring the support outwards or inwards, which you can snap back down to lock in place. Or you can do what I have done and found to be my preference. Leave the lever open and the lumbar support will follow you. So whether you're leaning forward doing an intense gaming session or laying back chilling, it will just follow your back around. Of course, those cheaper Ewan chairs aren't the only thing I can compare Autoful's M6 gaming chair to. How about a more premium brand in the same price range? You guys know I have been using the Vantam Herman Miller gaming chair for a year now. However, there is two major flaws with this chair that Autoful solves. And unfortunately, one of those flaws is simply build quality, especially the headrest, a very important part of the chair. If you lean back or adjust it too much and press your head on it, it will sometimes just fall apart. There it went. That is not something I'm actually worried about with the Autoful M6 gaming chair. It's built extremely sturdy, having put two of them together now. They each weigh 77 pounds and can hold up to 396 pounds, and that's by far one of the heaviest duty office and gaming chairs I've ever used. They are so sturdy, I would trust them to catch a newborn. Uh, we've got some head trauma and eternal bleeding. Now my use for gaming chairs is probably quite unique to many. You all know Eric and I use them to host the Nintendo Byte podcast, and obviously I use them for general work and video editing at a desk. But we also spin these bad boys around to get in a good gaming session on our background TV. So I'm gonna say that I've been using this chair for a little over a week, Eric's been using it a couple days, uh, and look, there's a couple things I want to point out that's not even in their talking points. Uh, first off, Eric, want to talk about the pillow? Pillow? Super comfortable. This is the most cushiest freaking gaming pillow I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, we've had a number of gaming chairs now with different headrests and pillows. This one actually is comfortable. Now, the one of the big features about this chair that I've never seen in another chair before is the heating and cooling. Uh, right now, we can't show you the heat difference, but uh, we do have this one turned on. This, this, this is on, this is nice and toasty, and his isn't. So Eric, why don't you show a little demonstration? You sit in your chair, let's just see, let's see what happens. I have, I have no clue what's gonna go on here. Nice all right, cool. all right, nice all right, nice. Yeah, just nice, normal chair, normal no chair. big deal. Normal chair. Now, uh, it's a nice cold winter night, Eric. Oh, 
nice and toasty, oh, right? It's, it's crazy toasty. Yeah, it's crazy toasty. There's three yeah. different heat settings. So like that's too hot. Uh, you know how some of you guys get cold with your chairs, live in colder climates. Uh, three different settings on there. Uh, obviously, each setting gets hotter. We have that on the hottest setting, and it stayed the same temperature. Now, these things run off a battery bank. Uh, something they don't talk about much on the website because uh, you can technically take this USB cord here and use a wall board if you want, but I don't want cords around a rolling chair. So uh, I like just using this, this battery bank. This is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank I'm using. Uh, according to their website, uh, it should be good for like three weeks of use, like continuously. So it's not drawing that much power. Now the other thing they have is the cooling feature. And you know what? We have this little demonstration we can do for that. Now, I will note that uh, the fans, it can be a little noisy. Now, when you sit in the chair, uh, the fan noise greatly reduces, of course, because you're covering the holes. Like, that, the air is actually hitting my ass right now. Uh, so it does bring a nice cooling sensation. I would liken the cooling and heating. If you've ever had a car that has heated and cooling seats, it feels a lot like that. Of course, in the car, you don't necessarily hear uh, the cooling, per se. You just feel it. Look, we're talking about like, you know, $50,000 cars versus versus what in the end is a significantly cheaper product than that. Um, and my favorite feature, of course, is this lumbar support. This lumbar support is really the best lumbar support I've ever seen in a chair, helping my posture. So uh, that's kind of my thoughts on that. What do you think about the lumbar support, Eric? Yeah, no, you've touched it. it I didn't notice myself actually, you know, thinking about lumbar support until I actually had it. And yeah, because it's always habit, been it's, it's always been crappy. It's, it, it's like I said, we've chucked crappy and uncomfortable. Pillow off and yeah, yeah. it's it's. You don't do, do you like the springy it. style? You like it oh, locked God, in? One hundred percent springy style. Oh, the springy. One hundred percent. And they've done style. testing on this, that, so they say on their website where you can take a lot, like thousands and thousands of springbacks. So uh, that's pretty cool. And that amazing back support isn't surprising considering that they collaborated with Dr. Dennis Miller, who is an International Chiropractic Association doctor of chiropractic care. Uh, he's been doing this stuff since 1976, and he brought his extensive expertise to this particular chair, the Autoful M6 series. And yes, obviously this feels great. Um... The stitching, all, all the stuff on here is all stitched in, so this isn't gonna like wear out or like rub off or anything. And honestly, there's only one really unique feature left, and this is actually maybe maybe important for, for Switch gamers, but all gamers, you can grab your Switch here, and they have these 6D armrests, and I thought they were kind of gimmicky, and it takes a bit to adjust them to like the right level where you want them, but they give you this extra arm support when you're holding your Switch, and then you just get here in your game. And like, it actually helps with the heft of it. So uh, you can also use it with a, a traditional controller as well or when you're phone gaming. Um, it just gives you that little bit of extra support. It's not anything crazy, but you know, you don't really realize that it's nice to have until you have it. You know, it's one of those like, hey, we're so used to gaming without that, right? Just holding our arms up like this. But uh, it's just nice to have that extra support. It takes a little bit of weight off your wrists and your hands. Uh, from that arm fatigue that we sometimes get. Obviously, most of the time my arms are down because, you know, I'm using it at a computer or whatever and I'm not doing that. But it's just nice to have that as an option, especially for us Switch gamers out there that maybe want to play a little Switch while we're at our office desk. Beyond all of that, we have one feature left to show. I'll have, uh, I'll have Eric show it off here. Uh, it comes with a footrest. So just kind of... Pull that rest out there, Eric. All right. And lay back. So this is really what the footrest is for. It's for this nice laid back position here. I'll kind of twist Eric around. So it's a little nice laid back situation. Uh, I don't find the footrest to really be usable outside of this position. It doesn't feel sturdy enough to be like sitting down and you pull it out like this and flip it up and then put your, put your feet up like this. I don't really, I don't really find this to be a good use case. It's very bouncy. Doesn't feel that sturdy. But when you're laying down, mm -hmm. you want to take a nap in your chair. You can. That's basically what I'm saying. Pretty with full comfort, and that's where it really counts. It's just kind of a bonus luxury feature, and that's important to remember because they have three versions of this chair, guys. Three versions. Okay. This is the Auto Full M6 Pro Gaming Chair. Uh, this one has all the features. You got your heating, your cooling, your uh, 
big lumbar support stuff, your 6D armrest, uh, and yes, the footrest as well. Uh, they also have an advanced version that has all the same functions as this minus the heating and cooling. So the pro version is going to run you $699 right now on their website. The advanced version is $599. And if you just want the basic version, like you don't care about the footrest, you don't care about the 6D armrest, you're cool with like just standard 3D armrest, which just means it moves to side to side, front to front. Uh, if that's all you care about and you just want a solid office chair with good lumbar support, they have one for you at $4.99, missing all those top tier features. Now, personally, I've been sitting on this cooling seat this entire time, and <laughs> I got to tell you, after it being heated for a while and me doing this long shoot under our studio lights, I'm feeling nice. I feel bad for Eric. He forgot the power bank for his, so, so I get to enjoy the fresh undercarriage cooling that Eric's not getting right now. If you didn't know, the key things for heating and cooling are your extremities, and on a man, we have an extra extremity. It's nice to have that cool that keeps us under control. So you guys can go ahead and check out this stuff down through the link in the description below. I want to thank Autoful, of course, for sponsoring this video. This has been wonderful. And you know what? We'll catch you guys in the next video. Or you know what? You'll catch this guy in the next episode of the Nintendo Byte Podcast.